So you might have seen the social media trend where parents share how they make uh, what they believe are core memories mm. for their kids. Mm. So it usually involves taking a trip together or spending some time in nature. Mm. So what do you think of this idea about creating core memories specifically for kids? Uh, this is a newish thing. I, I hear a lot of my friends who are like, oh, I have to do this thing. I want to create a core memory. And I'm like, wait, you're trying to create the core memory. And, and then I started thinking about my own childhood and all of my core memories didn't really involve my parents. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. So I was like, and yeah. to me, creating a core memory or any memory that sticks, which is what a core memory is, is a, an, a high emotional charge mm. attached to an event. Right? And so we're trying to now fabricate them. Mm. And as a parent of a young person, I'm asking, where is this coming from? And I personally sometimes feel it's coming from a place of insecurity mm. or we're not doing enough as parents. Or, or, or we've got to compare. Like Ms. Telcher, mm. wanting to give your children but those you, those, mm. those sensations know, that we not, carry with That's us? very positive. Yeah. I don't know that that's where it's coming <laughs> from from some parents. Yeah. That there's this competition, like who's going to be the best parent? <laughs> who's uh, who's going to create the memories. best memory that when they're standing up there getting married, they're going to be like, there was this time that my mom planned this thing and it oh. created a core oh memory. Yeah, I, I, I do wonder. I don't, I don't get it because all my favorite memories involve my friends, my family, like my first kiss. Parents weren't there. <laughs> yeah. That'd be weird they if they were. were. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just say, it's, this is putting so much more pressure on parents. Yes. So they're already, I'm not a parent, but there seems to be so much pressure already and also can't kids kind of like smell it like when your parents are super into something <laughs> and they want you to be oh super into it. Oh my god it's true. I was a bratty rebellious terrible little kid and if my parents were into something I was automatically not into that thing. Yeah. Yep. I was like no if you're excited about it I'm not. I had uh, four uncles who were very formative who respectively got me into like politics, music and, and movies, acting and hosting, all the things I love today, international relations but they were just far enough away mm. they weren't quite authority mm -hmm. figures but I looked up to them but if my parents were into something if they tried to create a core memory, I'd be like, I'm never remembering this. Yeah. <laughs> I love my parents, Bruce and Dina, shout out. Okay, I think the impulse is, is really, really beautiful. You want to create these memories for your kids. But ultimately, I think it's futile because memories are so malleable. I think anyone who comes from a family, if you have like an old sort of folklore story in your family, everyone kind of remembers it differently. Right. So they are malleable. <laughs> and you guys have probably heard of that, my man, uh, Marcel Proust. Um, he, he wrote just dropping the Proust. Just do that. On a uh, Monday morning. But he, he wrote about like voluntary and involuntary memories. Voluntary memories are when someone's like, you remember that. You remember that person, place, or thing, and you're like really trying hard to remember it. And then in a volun involuntary, sorry, voluntary memories are those ones where he wrote like thousands of pages on it, where he's sitting there and he's having a madeleine, a little cookie with a cup of tea, and he's just like, <gasps> <laughs> and he's taken back 30, 40 years ago with his aunt before mass. And then the sensation, his entire childhood comes back to him from that bite of a damn cookie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so you can't manufacture that. Yes. You can't buy it. Yeah. It just, it, the neurons in our brains just do it. I'll just say really quickly that uh, the other day, J Jaya was telling me a memory of something. But like, oh my God, this time. Remember that time when I, and I can't remember the details of it, but I was like, Jaya, that didn't happen to you. That was your dad's memory. <laughs> Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.